Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sona if you're new to my channel and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to share a tutorial that's super easy to do whenever you're feeling kind of in a funk, you know? So how can you look beautiful? How can you feel your best when you're not feeling your best? So I'm gonna keep this intro super short so we can get into it. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I feel like not my best. I have pimple cream on. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's kind of like a green primer to actually like calm the redness and also um, when I put concealer on, it's just gonna, you know, conceal it a little bit better. But lately I've just been like having all sorts of skin issues like breakouts, my eyelids are like really red and irritated. I've talked about this on stories. So I thought like instead of complaining about it and not wanting to do my makeup, why don't I show you guys how you can look pretty and your best whenever you're not feeling your best. So I have been feeling like crap, I'm not gonna lie. I just haven't been feeling confident lately due to all of these crazy breakouts and my eyes and not being able to like wear a ton of makeup. I'm gonna try to get out of that funk right now with you and um, see how we can look pretty without doing too much but still you know getting out of this like funk of feeling like crap i'm just gonna blend this out real fast and you can see all of the redness first i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my lips i'm gonna use one of my favorite lip balms this is the fresh sugar lip balm in um like a caramel scent so then for my foundation i'm gonna go in with this long wear weightless foundation from bobby brown this has spf 15 in it so i'll tell you guys a little bit about my acne journey i guess since we're on the topic of breakouts i started having really really severe acne after high school i mean towards like the end of high school i should say and it was so bad that i wouldn't leave the house i was so insecure i always had my hair like covering my face like this i literally looked crazy because i just didn't want anyone to look at my skin i went to every dermatologist i went to every you know like esthetician trying to figure out what's wrong i ended up going on medication to get rid of it after i was fine but then recently again it's been like coming back and it's mainly on this side as you can see this side's clear which is kind of funny because i sleep on this side so it's not from you know sleeping so when I was having these issues, I started playing with makeup a lot. I just like seriously fell in love with makeup because of the confidence that it gave me. I remember just like putting foundation on and like concealing the breakouts and being like, oh my God, like I can actually leave the house without feeling insecure, you know? Ever since then, I've just been so in love with it because like you can really transform the way you feel just by like, you know, putting a little bit of makeup on and feeling your best. Usually I use a kabuki brush, but I don't know why I just picked up this brush today. I'm gonna switch to a kabuki brush. It's just so much easier. This one is by It Cosmetics. It's their double-ended kabuki brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and pinpoint conceal just because I feel like I still need it on this side. And instead of using a concealer, I'm actually gonna use a stick foundation. This is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. You can use a concealer, of course, but I just find that this um, provides the most natural kind of coverage. So I'm gonna use the end of this brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the product and just dab it right on top. I don't know if you suffer with acne, let me know if yours are like really painful too. It's like almost like sharp pain when you touch it. When I went to get a facial, the lady was like trying to extract them and I was just literally like dying. I'm like, oh my God, it hurts so freaking bad. Yeah, if you guys have any like tips, let me know. But I've shared my acne struggles here quite a few times and I have like a few tips that I've shared here before but I think for me the main thing is like trying to relax and like not stress out so much and also eat healthy it's just like overall like always trying to do stuff to have good skin for my concealer I finally ordered another one of these this is the Maybelline age rewind concealer I'm gonna go ahead and use this because it's been a minute since I used it so I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes hide the redness and a little bit on top because I do need it and then Using the same kabuki brush, I'm just gonna blend it in place. I just find it to be easier with this. I mean, you can use a beauty blender if you have the time. I love my base, it looks really natural. I already feel so much better, you have no idea. I mean, I still feel like my face is so puffy because it's so early in the morning. It's especially around here is when I feel like the most puffiness. 
I had like a few comments saying that I get like cheek in injections and I was like, no, <laughs> I just have big cheeks, okay? Okay, I'm gonna um, stop talking and I'm going to set my face. I'm gonna use the Lawless Setting Powder. This is a new product by Lawless. So I'm just gonna apply this around the T-zone. Also, I'm just using like a small little brush today because I want to pinpoint set my face. I don't want to like set the whole thing because I want that dewy finish. This is a Flower Beauty brush. It does not have a name. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, just like lightly on top. My eyelids are also very, very dry these days. Again, I don't know what's going on. Like it's super red and dry. I've talked about it on stories. And someone actually recommended I use Aquaphor at night. So that's what I've been doing. It's gotten a little better. Lastly, I'm just going to set where I have you know, breakouts and stuff so that the foundation doesn't move, especially when you're working with cream foundations. Those tend to move a lot more than like liquids and powders, of course, so I would definitely set those areas. How many of you guys struggle with acne and what is it that you do to kind of like feel more confident? Let's kind of start a conversation down in the comment section. I'd love to hear all your stories because I know it's like such a big struggle for people, including myself. I'm gonna move on to my bronzer. I've been absolutely obsessed with this milk bronzer. This is a cream bronzer. I have to say it's really one of the best formulas I've tried. I've tried like so many high-end um, cream bronzers. So this is what it looks like. You can obviously apply this directly, but because I've got acne and like, I don't want too much movement, I'm just gonna use my Kabuki brush. And just grab a little bit of the product and then just dab, like instead of dragging it, just dab on the hollows of my cheeks and then sort of blend it up. A little bit of this goes a long way too. I put a little too much on this side, but we're gonna blend it. This side just looks so much better now. So I'm just gonna blend this side out too. And then a little bit on the jawline. Notice how I'm not dragging anything because I don't want my foundation to start moving. Luckily my forehead doesn't really break out, which is kind of nice. Okay, so for my highlighter, you guys know I always use Zuma from Persona Cosmetics, but today I'm gonna actually change it up. I'll probably put Zuma over this, but I wanna go ahead and use this um, Dew Drop from Marc Jacobs. You actually can like mix this with your foundation and stuff, but if you have oily skin or acne prone skin, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. And again, with my Kabuki brush, I use this a lot. I'm just gonna pop this right on the high points of the cheeks just for that natural sort of glow. A little bit on the nose. Since I'm working with a lot of creams, I'm actually gonna use a cream um, blush as well. This is by Burt's Bees, and it's actually new. I was just at one of their events and I got it, so I've never used this before. Wish me luck, that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. I'm so nervous because I haven't used this before and I don't want this to like ruin the base, but no, it's pretty. So I'm just gonna pop this on the apples of the cheeks. It's a really, really subtle blush. I feel like it's like so natural. I'm gonna set my bronzer with a powder bronzer. This is the Laura Mercier Baked Bronzer in number four. I'm just gonna lightly kind of go over this just so that cream bronzer doesn't move. For my brows, I'm gonna use this NARS brow product in the shade Cool Blonde. It's like a really nice taupey shade. And obviously I'm not a blonde, but I do like my brows to be just a little bit lighter. Rule of thumb is usually you should go two shades lighter than your hair if you're a brunette and then two shades darker than your hair if you're a blonde. Learn that in makeup school or maybe working at MAC, one of those. Okay, this like little bald spot, this isn't doing much for because it's so light. Oh, I need something a little bit darker. I'm gonna set it in place using a brow gel by Benefit Cosmetics. It's the 24 hour brow setter. I'm gonna put a little bit of Zuma right on top. Pretty intense, I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit. Okay, moving on to the eyes, finally. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Color Theory Eye Kit in the copper shade and I'm gonna keep this like very natural of course because this is more for like days where you have to go to work like you have to be a mom you have to go to school it's going to be a very natural sort of like everyday look just to get you out of that funk again so that's why i'm going to use the copper kit because if you just use these two shades and maybe even a little bit of that you're golden i'm going to use the brush that comes with the kit and i'm going to first pick up light brown 
So I'm just gonna put light brown on my crease. I like to apply and blend, and when it comes to the crease, I like to use the tip of the brush because I'm just kind of like lightly apl applying product and blending it. I do have more of like a smoky eye using this palette, so I'll link that down below using like copper and stuff. I'm not gonna use that today. I'm gonna use the same light brown shade and now again with the tip. Then I'm just gonna apply this on my lower lash line. I need a little blush. I feel like I look really, really pale. So I'm just gonna um, quickly do that. I'm gonna use the same kind of fluffy brush and I'm gonna use a MAC blush. This one is in Melba. It's one of my favorite blushes. When I work there, I feel like I use this on all my clients. This and like, I think there was one called Style. Next, using the same brush, I'm gonna use the flat side of it and pick up a little bit of off-white. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelids. This is like a really pretty highlight shade, but I do like to use this on my entire eyelids too because I feel like it just like kind of brightens that area. And then of course, I like to apply it also on the inner corners. And then again with light brown, I'm just gonna blend this a bit so it's not too, too harsh. Then I'm gonna pick up the brown shade that comes in the kit again, and this is a waterproof 24 seven liner. And I'm just gonna waterline this. I love doing this, especially on the top. I look kind of scary when I do that because when I put my lashes on, it just, everything looks so much fuller. And then just a little bit on the inside too. Okay, so next I'm gonna curl my lashes because I feel like that is such an important step too because it like opens up your eye. Um, this is the Revitalash Lash Curler. It works so well. I just discovered this. I used to use like a different one before this. I'm gonna use the NARS Climax Mascara and I like to apply several coats. This is again, just like on those days where you just need to pull yourself together but you don't even feel like doing so much. And then I'm also gonna apply this on my bottom lashes as well, even though this will make your makeup kind of run a little bit. So if you experience that, I would definitely skip this step. I've tested so many things and I feel like the times where I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes is the time that my makeup doesn't run. But I'm actually gonna add a little more shimmer just on the inner corners. And a tad bit on the brow bone. I feel like for this kind of look, a gloss is the best thing to use afterwards just cause like it looks the most natural. But I am gonna line my lips a little bit on the outer corners cause I don't like how my lips kind of droop down like that. I just like to kind of even it out like that. I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Gen Nude in the color Squad. It's such a beautiful, like peachy, pinky nude, and it's very, very pigmented. Oh, I didn't even tell you what liner I used. My bad, it's the Pat McGrath in the shade Contour. So that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, it was so easy to do and I purposely kept it so minimal that you can do it at home like anyone can do it and it'll take you 10 to 15 minutes and you'll automatically just get out of this funk because you're gonna feel more confident. Like I feel so much more confident right now. I look like a different person from when I started this tutorial. So I hope you guys can give it a shot as well and whenever you are feeling like that, just think that like you can you know, bring out the best version of yourself just by playing with makeup. There's nothing wrong with it. I also wanna hear your stories, like I said, down in the comments below, because if you have had like acne struggles and stuff, like, share our tips and tricks down there. So thanks again so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs> I just said, let's get into it like four times. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Do drop, do, do, do drops. Okay, <laughs> do you do drops?